everybody welcome back to my channel welcome back to the 20k giveaway but q a video so i hope you guys are well i hope you guys are taking care of yourselves i hope you guys are staying safe we are still in the middle of a panasonic um but we're not going to talk about that we are here to celebrate i have since reached 20k by the time this video goes up i'm not quite sure I'm not quite sure how many, uh, I really am not quite sure, I don't know, I don't know where we're going to be at, but it's fine. Right now, we are on 21,700 subscribers, it's crazy. I literally got over 1,000 subscribers in a week, which for me is unheard of, it's crazy. So I wanted to do the giveaway and I wanted to sit down and have us talk about this giveaway, sweetie, what do you even mean? Of course, I have to thank you guys so much for helping me get to 20,000 subscribers and thank you so much to the new subscribers that have uh, popped into the channel since 20,000, uh, since we hit 20,000. So welcome to the JK fam. I am me here, teacher. My name is uh, Gatleo and I'm glad that you are here and let's have a good time. We, we just do chilled vibes here. You know, we just chill, we just hang out, we just do chill things here. You know, we have a good time, we, we, we just, we are within ambience and aesthetics, we just, we just really have a good time, we chillax and uh, we, you know, we're authentic, we're real, we're about just having a good time. So, if you're here, welcome, I'm having a drink, I'm going to be answering some of your questions, which I put up on the community tab, and at the end of the video, we're going to talk about the giveaway. A okay, so I'm going to answer some of your questions. I'm having an immunity fit hit uh, juice tea kind of thing. Um, and yeah, it's the one with dragon fruit and yuzu. That's what I'm having now. I'm going to start with your questions, comments, whatever it is that you've said. And then I'm going to get into the giveaway information. So besides YouTube, what do you do career-wise? Do you think you found your purpose in your careers? And what words of wisdom do you have for a 30-year-old who feels stuck and lost in her career? Career. Hi, Kaylee. I think it's Kaylee Calypso. Hi, Kaylee. Uh, besides YouTube, maybe you are new, so it's fine. I'll mention it roughly, but I've said it in multiple videos of mine. I work in the project management field and I work for a civil and construction engineer a civil engineering and construction company and that's what I do as a day to day and then I've got side hustles I've got other things that bring in other streams of income of course this one also being one of them and yeah what do uh, do I feel like I've found my purpose in my careers I feel like I enjoy what I do and for a lot of people you know, that's a lot to say. For, for a lot of people, they don't enjoy what they do. So I feel blessed in that I really love my daytime job. And I also really love this. I love what I do on the side, my side hustles and all of that. I really love it. So I do feel like I've reached a purpose for YouTube in that I have, um, you know, in that I've reached a phase I've reached a place in my YouTube where we have like a community for women and we can chat, teach each other things, show each other things, share good things, drink, have fun, but also at the same time share things and learn from one another. And I really love that. I feel like I've fulfilled the purpose in that way of helping even one or two people talking about mental health, that kind of thing. Um, and in my career, I feel like I could do better in my career but with covid and everything i really haven't had you know i'm just we're, we're really just coasting and thing until things really just calm down and i can be fully active in my career um uh, uh, again so but for now any words of wisdom do you have for a 30 year old who feels stuck and lost in her career it's never too soon to change it if you don't like it change it because yes, I understand that you, you can't, it's not easy to just say change it where you have to leave your career and start something else or whatever. But while you're doing that, find something else that you can work on. Find another hobby that you can work on and execute and make it a passion project and do something else. Because a lot of the time, let's be honest, streams of income right now, one stream of income is not a real thing anymore. It really isn't unless you are earning... Buku, 
buku amounts of money but if you're really feeling lost or stuck you try and change that try and go into a different avenue that's still within your same career but then work into going into a different avenue study something else while you're working something that can keep your mind going and your mind busy and not stuck or work on a passion project what do you love to think about what do you love pick up some new hobbies do something different to your normal routine your normal mundane routine of every single day like honestly that's the best thing that will help kickstart your mind to thinking about what it actually is that you really like or what you don't like or all of that and then you, you work on that and then you you make shit shake you know i hope that helps um but it really isn't the end of the world to change your career you are still 30 many people achieve greatness in their careers at 45 50 60 so honestly it's still early you can still make a difference you can still make a change and you can still um you know go for the dream that you want of having a career that doesn't seem like a job that seems like it's fun it's a hobby like you you're just doing what you would want to be doing every single day Tembi says, congratulate, uh, see now I lost my place. Tembi says, congratulations, cat. Um, uh, I'm a new sabi and I'm binge watching on your content. Thank you and welcome. Welcome. Congratulations, cat by Vuyo. How do you go about saving money, budget, debts, debts, etc.? I do have a saving video somewhere. In my 100 plus videos on my channel, I do have a video about saving and budgeting. I remember actually when I recorded it, I was sitting on the floor in my lounge. So it's there, baby girl. Just check it out. Blah, blah, blah. Um, my homo who says, why do, you rata so? why do I love you so much? I don't know. Why? Why? Don't be too extra. No, I don't know. But thank you so, so much. Thank you so much. Nosipo Mazibugo says, congrats, Kat. I'm so happy for you. My question is, what are you grateful for? 20,000 subscribers. We can start there right now. I'm grateful that there are people who find me interesting. Like I always say, um, that I feel like I'm a little bit boring and whatever. And I remember somebody commented and I was like, oh, but how can you be boring if 20,000 people are watching you and we find you interesting, you're not boring. But for me, just generally, for myself, I feel some type of way about me and my business and all that. But anyway, um, I'm grateful for you guys, for being here, for constantly supporting me, for just pushing me even in times that i didn't want to go ahead but also being kind enough to be understanding to say what cat you know what if you want to take time off take time off we're going to be here we're not going to go anywhere we'll still be here i'm really grateful to you guys for that and i want to show you how grateful i am with a giveaway that i'm going to give away ha 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 <laughs> uh but i'm also grateful for my family i'm grateful for my life at this point, we are living on borrowed time. I haven't even been vaccinated. I'm going to be vaccinated in a couple of weeks. Or maybe by the time you see this, I will be a week away from vaccinating. I'm not quite sure. But I just feel like we're living on borrowed time. Anything could change. Anything. Anything could change. Um, and it's scary. It's scary stuff. So I'm really grateful for my life. And I'm grateful for my family. Uh, I've lost family members uh, to COVID and all of that. So it's really been a tough time lost, you know, uh, it's just, it's, we've just been surrounded by so much death and whatever. So the one biggest thing that I'm grateful for is the gift of life and being able to wake up and breathe each and every single day. I'm grateful for that. No more, no less. No more, no less. Shadow says, Shadow, Shadow, Shadow says, congratulations, cats. You are absolutely, you absolutely, absolutely deserve it you're amazing i'd like to see more vlogs blah blah okay so some of the comments were uh what i asked in this was what do you like would you like to see more of and then if you've got a question i'll answer the question right so urapeleng says uh congratulations cat you are amazingly incredible thank you babes we do melo says question also your experience starting your career fresh out of varsity and advice to graduate graduates facing anxiety and unemployment uh one i do talk about my career in one of my videos where i get into it and i get into varsity and what i've learned so i really don't want to get into that in particular however 
advice to graduates facing anxiety and unemployment one be kind to yourself right now it's not just you as the graduate who is facing unemployment it's many other people in the country who are facing unemployment who are unemployed and sitting at home because of this wow my lash is really piercing into my eye because of this uh, pandemic and what we are going through right now. So yes, I do understand the anxiety and I understand how anxious you will be at this time. But right now we are all in a place where we're trying to recalibrate and we're trying to figure out what we can do so that we can stay afloat. So many people are struggling right now. Case in point, I'm one of them. You might not see the struggle because my mama told me when I was growing up that you do not show your struggles. I'm one of those people who's going through a really, really tough time right now. However, I'm choosing to find ways and avenues to push through the anxiety. As much as my mental health is very important to me and you know how important it is on this channel, but I'm choosing to find other avenues in which I can, you know, focus on and I can um, dive into and, 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 and literally put my energy and my time into so that I can try and mitigate what's going on in my head. But of course, there's also medications that I'm on and all of that. But you have every right to feel anxious. You have every right to feel worried about, okay, what happens now? What happens next? You are absolutely correct in feeling that way. However, it isn't the end of the world. The world is still trying to recalibrate. People are still trying to find their feet. People are still trying to wade out of this thick ass water, mucky water that we are in right now. And you are not the only one. What you can do right now is work on everything you can or do everything you can to make sure your mental health is up to scratch. Because if your mental health is not up to scratch, everything else that's happening around you, around us, is gonna make you're going to crash. You're going to have a nervous breakdown. You're going to, you're going to struggle even more. So you need to work on whatever you can control right now that is in your power to control. You can keep trying to look for work and you can keep trying to do this and blah, blah, blah. But what you can control is how you function on a daily basis. You work on that, what you can work on. Sometimes you can't control it, but work on that, that first. And then know that everything with time Tr keep trying to look for work it will open up try and find a passion project try and find another way in which you can make money that doesn't involve your 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 what you studied or anything like that you can look for work in the meantime absolutely but find other avenues in which you can make streams of income you can do it Danny Maposa says hey cat please talk about how to progress in the corporate world as a black female um Firstly, I'm not in corporate. I feel like this, I, I work a very different type of world as opposed to somebody who works at a bank or whatever. I wouldn't say I work in corporate. I really wouldn't. But I hear your chat professionally in the workspace. I get, I, I get your chat. Um, how to progress in the corporate world. Honestly, everything is stagnant right now. So whatever advice that I would give you about progressing in the professional world, let's put it that way, right? In the professional world is work your ass off. Because the reality is, yes, sometimes we can say, ah, but I work nine to five, blah, 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 and I do this and I work hard and I do whatever, but it doesn't seem to be progressing. Unfortunately, the reality is it's what you do your imprint in the professional world that'll help you progress. So work your ass off, come up with new ideas, put your everything into your work, show up and show off. Literally show up and show off. Like when you are sitting in meetings, engage, be there, be present, be active about your job. Because a lot of the time we get into this rut that, you know what, at least I have a job. I'm grateful. At least I have a job. And you sit back like this and you don't, as long as I'm getting a salary and whatever. But the reality is if you do want to progress in the corporate and professional world, I would recommend that you study if you can study even further do whatever it takes to get further in the career path that you are in or whatever but also engage and be very active in your work engage in meetings talk ask questions find out engage fight engage i keep saying engage um 
get a mentor who's in the same space who can talk to you blah 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 learn more about your job put yourself out there you know there's sometimes where there's like conferences and whatever and it's just like ah but i don't want to go to that sometimes just go there mingle see who you can t you know some of them are online now so it's even better you know so mingle you'll never know who you can meet and you'll never know what doors can open up to you so you just need to be extremely active in your professional life and want more for yourself that's the only advice I can give you right now because because of the Panasonic things are a little bit tricky when it comes to that right now but honestly engage be active be present and know what you want and go for it, especially in the corporate world or the professional world. Um, and how you maintain a YouTube channel where you're open about your life without it conflicting with your expected ethics at work. Uh, hence why one of the things is I'm open about my life, but I'm very open about my personal life. Not, not relationshiping wise. <laughs> not open about that, but good sis is a happy girl right now. <laughs> I got somebody guys but anyway um what I, what I was getting into was that I don't talk about if you follow my channel a lot you'll know I don't talk about my job on my channel I don't talk about what I do what project we're working on what da, 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 the stresses at work how to deal with this I really rarely ever and this is because of the position that I am in my work I cannot there's certain things that I just can't divulge and whatever but also at the same time um, I want this to be a completely separate space from my professional life so I keep them absolutely separate I do not uh, mesh them in together the only thing that I am open about is my life my mental health family life even with that I, I I'm up to a degree I don't mention everything about my family life or my all that stuff I don't do that so to a degree I'm very particular about what I share online uh, I don't share my personal life who I'm seeing what I'm doing if I'm dating and whatever I talk about I'm free to talk about it and all that kind of stuff but right now I'm not so <sighs> that sucks uh, but um, uh, you know doing those kinds of things I'm quite free I talk about mental health because I know how important mental health is to a lot of people I know how important it is so um, yeah um, that in that way it doesn't conflict with what is expected of me at work the ethics at work the professionalism at work this is also work for me this is another sphere of my life that is work but i keep that completely separate to that congratulations cat this is aviwe and she says what do you do when you feel demotivated um sleep take some time off i'm i'm very bad at taking time off but i'm learning okay i'm doing better okay so give me a chance okay yeah um, so I take some time off, I sleep, I spend time with uh, my family, I tap into my creative side by either watching things on YouTube or watching certain pro uh, uh, chan um, certain programs or spending time with people that really feed my imagination, uh, having conversations that are really fruitful, that, that really build towards my imagination, that will help me come up and create content and all of that. Um, spending time with creatives. I spend a lot of time with creatives as well. Some of my friends are creatives, so I talk to them as well. And then we'll have a conversation and then I'll get an idea from that. And I'll say, okay, I'm gonna incorporate it in my next vlog or whatever, or talk about it or whatever. Um, so I, I, I do things that fuel my creativity when I feel demotivated. And a lot of the time that'll often pick me right back up and I'll be motivated to work again. Um, but also resting is very important. Um, also, uh, taking some time out is very important. Traveling for me is a big thing when I'm demotivated because I normally come back feeling amazing. So I will be doing quite a bit of traveling in the next couple of months. So that's going to be quite nice and quite great for content and for motivating myself and whatever and all that stuff. Do I ever feel like quitting? Absolutely. I've had multiple videos on my youtube channel vlogs or whatever where i talk about quitting where i talk about i like feel like uh i don't know about this anymore so yes i i've got quite a few um but right now nah right now i'm quite motivated right now how do i come as a non muso species says 
how do you come all anxiety and self-doubt i've got multiple videos on doubting yourself and anxiety i talk about it in my vlogs i talk about i, I don't want to feel like i am uh repeating myself a lot because i talk about anxiety and doubting yourself and whatever in the motivation and empower videos and in my vlogs and all of that so i really don't want to feel like i'm repeating myself but overcoming anxiety is not really something you can mitigate what's going on with you overcoming it not really i don't i don't see it as something that you know is possible because it's something that's within you it's there it'll always be there it's about just what you can do to get better in that time in that moment so for me i would sleep i would read i now am on medication for it so that's also important because it really got to a place where i just couldn't do it anymore by myself with the methods that i had learned i really needed something to work in my brain to help me get out of the funk that i was in something to um kind of regulate the chemical imbalance that was happening there in my brain so um the only thing that i would say is you can't you can't really overcome it but you can work on making some days better than others and when you do have a bad day literally listening to yourself and focusing on that and and doing what you need to do um to be better so if that involves sleeping, eating, relaxing, uh, being with family, friends, that kind of thing. Um, more Blessings says, hey, JK. Hey, girl. Uh, where do you buy your friends' branded t-shirts and tops in SA? Superbulous. Everything that I have, my branded tops are from Superbulous and from Cotton On. I love them. You can buy Cotton On from Superbulous or Superbulous, the brand on Superbulous, the app. The, um, the faces, the... Um the faces tea that I have, I'll put it somewhere here. The faces tea that I have that everybody asks me about is a superbulous tea. And I saw recently on uh, on superbulous that they've got a sweater as well with the with the draw draw drawn on faces. I don't know how to say it, but uh, yeah. So it's from superbulous. If you scout around through superbulous, you'll find them there. How do you balance work, your channel, and family or personal time time management organizing? Having a diary, knowing when to do what, also knowing when it's time for a break. I've been taking lots of breaks in the last three weeks and uh, it's helped me quite a lot because I feel really upbeat right now. Like I'm recording, this is the first time I've been sitting down and doing a sit down video, sit down videos um, in the past couple of weeks and I feel motivated and I feel pumped and I feel blah 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 so it feels good for me to be in this space and um, it's because I took the time out I really took the time out um, and I focused on myself a little bit um, but all of it is really just time management again I've got videos on that kind of stuff on my channel all you need to do is have some time sit down and watch that's it that's it that's it do you see yourself leaving your day job for YouTube? Absolutely not. I don't. Uh, look, if I get to Jackie Aina levels or uh, Casey Neistat levels, sure, maybe, sure. Uh, but right now, no. I love the fact that I have different avenues and parts of my life that I give myself to. Uh, I don't want YouTube to be the only part of my life that I give myself to in terms of professionally, I mean, uh, in terms of professionally and career-wise and as a stream of income and whatever. I don't want YouTube to be my sole focus or content creation to be my sole focus. I don't want that. I actually enjoy... Um, uh, uh, talking about projects and I enjoy f working on tenders and I enjoy doing this that and the other like I love that other part of me really a lot I really enjoy it so um, no right now I don't ever see myself leaving my daytime job for YouTube I don't um, that is pretty much it so we're gonna move on to the giveaway portion of this video let's go okay all right so here we are, if you made it to this portion of the video, we are going to talk about the 20K for cat, the 20K giveaway, and it's going to be two parts to this giveaway, because I'm really, really excited, and I'm really, really happy, and we're going to do this giveaway in two parts, 
one of the parts is two of you are going to get a chance to sit down with me and have lunch and drinks on the good sis, on me, two of you. That's the one part of the giveaway. And the other part of the giveaway is 2,000 Rand. 1,000 Rand for every 10K. So it's 2,000 Rand. Next one will be 3,000 Rand. Next one will be 4,000 Rand. See what I'm saying? See where I'm going with this? Um, so I'm going to start with the cash money. The cash money prize for the giveaway. There's always rules to all my giveaways. You have to be following me on YouTube and on Instagram. On my social media platforms. Definitely YouTube and uh, 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 Instagram are the most important. I will check. I will check. Okay? There's a lot of money and there's a lot of time and all these things. Secondly, um, you need to state which part of the giveaway you are entering for. If you're entering for the cash money, you must state it. You must tell me your uh, Instagram account. I hope you guys are writing this down. But I will do all the giveaway rules and regulations in my description box below so that you know exactly what you need to do. So you have to be following me on Instagram and YouTube. Secondly, you have to state which part of the giveaway you are entering for. You cannot enter for both. You cannot enter for both. Thirdly, you have to tell me what your Instagram handle is in the comment section of this giveaway because this is how you're going to enter, right? This is how you're going to enter. Now, all I need you to do to be able to, uh, 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 what am I saying? To be able to enter this giveaway, all I need you to be able to do is follow me on my platforms and also tell me why you like this channel. Why you like this channel. But the most important thing is you need to repost. You have to have Instagram. You need to repost any portion of this video on to your Instagram page. Do you see what I'm doing with this? This is how I'm helping myself grow, but at the same time, you gotta put in the work, good sis. So that's all you need to do. Be following me on Instagram and YouTube. State which part of the giveaway that you want to be entering for, and mention your Instagram handle in the comment section of this. And lastly, repost any part of this video, whatever it is, lastly, repost any part of this video onto your Instagram page and tag me so that I see it so I can repost it. You know how it works. You know how it works. I, I would love for you to do that. If you can't do that, or maybe your account is private, whatever the reason slip would be or whatever, just make sure you're following me on Instagram and you tell me, you follow me on Instagram and YouTube and you tell me what part of the vi video you're entering for and you give me your handle. But if you repost, you will have gone the extra mile and I will notice that. I will notice that. So the first uh, part of the giveaway is cash money. So it will be 2,000 Rand to do whatever you want. It's none of my business. Whether you're going to be doing the 2,000 Rand, you're going to be helping out at home, buying electricity, buying food, groceries, paying rent, da 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 da, da or even treating yourself to a spa uh, a day or whatever, self-love, self-care, or treating yourself to something for to, to just help alleviate mental health, whatever. This channel is about that, okay? We are celebrating our lives at the same time and also just being ourselves and living our day-to-day -day lives. So I want you to be able to do whatever you want with that 2K. And then the second part of this giveaway is a lunch with me for two lucky subscribers who are going to just tell me why you love the channel in the comment section below. Tell me why you love the channel. Give me your Instagram handle. Uh, repost this video, blah, blah, blah. So you have to comment below and tell me why you love the channel and which portion of the giveaway you are entering for. All the details will be down in the description box. And we are going to meet our contact, the two winners, personally. You have to be in Joburg for this one, unfortunately. So I'm sorry. So And this giveaway will close two weeks from the date of the video being released so two weeks all those details will be down in the description box below i know that i over explain this but a lot of the time people don't get it right and then it becomes a huge issue and i try to enter and this and this so that's what it is um okay 
Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for the questions. Thank you for the suggestions on what you'd like to see on the channel. This, you know how you're going to enter the giveaway. Thank you so much for 20,000 subscribers. This is, we're going to have some fun. We're going to have some fun. And uh, please stay subscribed. Always repost my stuff. That helps me quite a lot. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Cheers to 20K. Cheers to 20K.